Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sardell and today I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew in the virtual Wii on your Wii U. A lot of people seem to forget that the Wii U has a virtual Wii inside, so why not Homebrew that today? Almost every Homebrew app made for the regular Wii will work on the virtual Wii, or VWii for short. For this video, you'll need an SD card, a Wii Remote without Motion Plus inside, and a Wii Sensors Bar is recommended. You'll also have to have Homebrew access on your Wii U. If you don't have Homebrew yet, don't worry, click the I in the top right corner to watch my Wii U Homebrew installation video. It should only take 5 minutes. The reason you need a Wii Remote without Motion Plus inside is because certain homebrew apps just won't work with it. However, if your Wii Remote freezes, you can use a GameCube controller in some cases, but this isn't guaranteed. But now it's time to shout out our Patreon supporters. For this month, we have Alexandi1, Boxfish, and Christian. So a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, head over to your PC and in your browser's URL bar, type in wiiu.console.guide and it will take you to the Wii U page on my website. Scroll down to this video, then click VW Homebrew Files and it will take you to this Google Drive page. Click the download button, then save it to your desktop. and then extract the contents of this zip folder to your desktop. I've made this part as easy as possible. Just open up your Wii U's SD card and copy all of these files to the root of the card. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U while it's turned off. Now on your Wii U, open up the Homebrew Launcher and if you want to know how I got this Homebrew icon on my Wii U menu, click the I in the top right corner to watch that video. Once you're in the Wii U Homebrew Launcher, load the Wuphacks app. And then press A to move on to the next step. Wuphacks injects code into the Mii channel on your virtual Wii, which allows you to load the Homebrew installation process. Once it's finished, it will kick you back to the home menu. Now let's switch over to the virtual Wii. Because I don't have a sensor bar on my monitor, I can't open the Wii menu as normal from the Wii U's home menu. But in case you didn't know, the Wii U gamepad has a sensor bar built right in. So, to use Wii mode on your TV and Wii U gamepad, while also using the Wii U gamepad sensor bar, you'll have to turn off your Wii U, and then turn it back on, but hold the B button until you see this message. This lets you quickly boot into Wii mode while enabling the Wii U gamepad sensor bar, which wouldn't normally be enabled when using both the TV and the gamepad at the same time. Once you're in the virtual Wii, point the Wii remote at the gamepad or at the sensor bar if you have one. And then open the Me channel. Now 
give it a few seconds and you should see this message. This will stay on screen for about 30 seconds. When prompted, press the 1 button. Press the A button here and use the D-pad to navigate up to this option, install the homebrew channel, then press A. Do the same with yes continue, then the homebrew channel will install. Once it's finished, choose the exit option. Now we're in the homebrew channel and everything seems ok, but note the aspect ratio. Right now it's 16 by 9, but it won't stay this way. Watch closely. But you can see now it's changed to 4 by 3 and there's big black bars on each side of the screen. To set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 permanently, let's open up Multi Mod Manager. Navigate down to WAD Manager, then press A, then choose WADs and press A. Once you've done that, press B a few times until you see this screen, then press home to exit. And then you can delete Multimod Manager, we won't be needing this anymore. And here's our new homebrew channel. Let's move this one away because this one opens in 4x3. If we delete this channel, homebrew won't open, even if we open it from the new homebrew channel. But anyway, now let's open up our new 16x9 homebrew channel. And as you can see it works, you're now in the homebrew channel, in the 16x9 aspect ratio in your virtual Wii. I've pre-installed the homebrew browser into your homebrew files. The homebrew browser lets you download homebrew apps from the internet without having to mess around with your Wii U's SD card. Click the I to watch my homebrew browser video and how to install apps using it. But there's one more thing we have to do before finishing up. Our me channel still has the exploit code in it, which we don't want there anymore. To get your me channel back, start by opening the Wii U menu. Then open up the homebrew launcher. Load what packs once again, then press B to restore the me channel. And once you've done that, your me channel should now have been restored. Let's check on that now.
And yes, it's back. It works perfectly, just like before. And that wraps up this video on installing Homebrew in the Virtual Wii. Homebrew on the Nintendo Wii has been around for ages, so there's plenty of Homebrew apps for you to mess around with. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you on Wednesday with a brand new video.